what is this a loving organization and how it can actually tackle those areas like fear and and stress uh, i think before i answer that question i'd like to introduce your audience to um dr ilia prigogine's work um it turns out that the law of dissipative structures describes how all systems and subsystems in the physical universe grow evolve and change and it's all based on stress uh, so now we're going to be really bringing the stress into it. But if you take a system, you'll see every system has a certain amount of energy that comes into yeah. it and a certain amount of energy it can dissipate. Yeah. And when those two things are about the same, then we have a stable system. But in a changing environment, all systems naturally resist change. It turns out resistance to change is part of the change process. And so what we have is all of these systems out there that are being called on to change, resisting change, and that resistance to change requires more energy coming into the system than the system can dissipate. And so this creates stress in the system. Yeah. And as it can, they continue to resist change over time, eventually the levels of stress build to a point where the system can no longer contain it and the system flies apart. Okay. It flies into chaos and then creates the space for the coming together of the energy that's still there into a completely different system, which is now operating at a higher level of functionality within the changed environment. And that's the principle that is at work, uh, both in uh, natural systems and in human-made systems, that is creating all of the stress that we feel both at work and of course, uh, you know, for the people who have to work in stress systems, they also are feeling that stress because it turns out that the mind too is systematic and at the effect of the law of dissipative structures.